Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to review the Mars Hydro FC 3000 full spectrum grow light. It's a fantastic grow light that is made for an area up to three times three feet. My grow tent is about three times two feet and I've been testing this grow light for the past four weeks and I just want to generally let you know about my experience, how great this grow light is and whether I recommend it for your house plants or not. So first off, let me tell you a little bit about the plants I have in my grow tent. So I'm growing mainly philodendron and also monstera plants. They all belong to the Aracy uh, family of plants. Uh, these are usually plants that grow on other plants. So there are epiphytes. I'm using a uh, hydroponic system. So the watering and also the nutrients are added automatically and the plants are watered every uh, couple of hours by uh, the system. In the past, I've been lacking a grow light that helps to uh, grow my uh, plants. And um, that's why I really wanted to add a professional grow light. Mars Hydro is a really well-known brand in the space. And I was really excited to test this grow light for my house plants. So uh, first, let's start with a few facts about the Mars Hydro FC 3000 grow light. It's a uh, full spectrum grow light. It uses 300 uh, watts. Uh, it features 896 Samsung and also Osram LED lights. This is really great. So you already see that a lot of quality is used and built in in this grow light. Uh, nothing cheap at all. It covers, as I mentioned, an area of three times uh, three feet and it can be used in grow tents. You can use it on your shelves. Uh, you can use it in your home, you can put it in a closet, uh, so it's really versatile, you can hang it, so uh, fantastic to uh, use this grow light. An interesting fact about the FC3000 is that it almost uses twice the amount of uh, LED lights compared to other lights in this range, uh, so what you can expect is that you have the area of three times three feet really, really well uh, covered. It doesn't fall off sharply on the edges as most uh, plant grow lights do. You have a really intense light in all the uh, coverage area of this grow light. It has a really great power distribution, a uh, very high efficacency of 2.85 umol. Uh, and it is really efficient to use. It has a low uh, energy consumption, which is great. In addition, it has IP65 uh, uh, protection. This means if uh, any water sprinkles on, uh, on the grow light, if there's a humid environment, it's absolutely no problem because it's very well built and also protected uh, from that. Uh, the grow light itself uh, has a dimension of 560 times 520 times 81.5 uh, millimeter. Also great to know about this grow light is it isn't huge, it isn't really big or, or tall. You can almost cram it into any space and it's much smaller than comparable 200 and 300 watt uh, grow lights, which is also nice. It comes with two hangers so you can easily adjust it in your grow tent and also on your shelf. So if you have smaller plants, seedlings, you want to put it lower. If you have uh, taller plants, you want to put it further up so it doesn't burn uh, the leaves, which is also great. So it comes with these uh, already within uh, the package. Also, it has a uh, driver that sits on top of the uh, grow light. A great fact about the driver is that you can um, take it off and put it on. You don't really have to have it inside your um, grow tent. You can also put it outside of the grow tent because you have a very long cable here. Uh, this is great, especially in summer or if your grow tent gets really hot and you don't want to have the additional heat in your grow tent, you just put it outside. Me, as an example, I really uh, like that there is some warmth that is emitted from a grow light because I'm living in an area that doesn't get really, really warm. But also in terms of heat emittance, it doesn't get very hot because there are heat sinks that make sure uh, the grow light doesn't get hot. And even if I've been running it for a couple of hours, I can just touch it. It isn't hot at all, uh, which is fantastic. All right, uh, in terms of review, let's start and talk about the uh, positives for a second. So as I mentioned, the FC3000 from Mars Hydro is built with premium um, components. It has Osram and also Samsung LEDs, which are meant to be the best on the, on the market. 
the uh, light output is, is really, really high. It has a great coverage area, which is another benefit of this grow light. The, the efficacy is 2.85 uh, UMOL, which is also really, really good. It has an even distribution, so an even par distribution. It doesn't fall off sharply at uh, the edges. It is a full spectrum grow light, so it's really close to uh, sunlight. It's emitting a, a natural white uh, looking light because it's using white and also red LEDs. In addition, it emits uh, UV uh, light and also ER light. Um, these are uh, light spectrums, uh, additional light spectrums that help uh, your plant's growth. The Mars FC 3000 grow light comes with a dimmer, so you can set between 10 and 100%. We can really play with the height and also the dimmer so we can have the optimal light output that you want and you can measure that and adjust it accordingly which is also great. It has a daisy chain uh, feature uh, so we can, I think you can link up to 30 other uh, of these uh, grow lights and you can dim it with one master which is uh, a great additional feature. You can also put it on, ex on external so it will um, not be dimmed and will be at 100%. For my use case with my philodendron and monstera plants, this would be uh, way too high. It's uh, extremely bright and extremely intense light. I run it on a dimmer on uh, 25%. Uh, this is very energy and efficient. I calculated that it will cost me less than $200 a year, which is uh, outstanding. And 25% uh, provide a really nice light output. So I just want to show you the light intensity I'm using my um, smartphone for this. Um, I have an app uh, installed on it which is uh, called, uh, that is called Photon. I need to uh, put this paper on it um, so the values uh, that I get from it are accurate. I'm just gonna put it on uh, one second. What I'm gonna measure are the PAR values. So PAR is really the, the light that arrives at, um, at the plant. Uh, whereas locks and other measurements are just about the, um, the light um, humans can see. Um, but I'm using PAR here for my measurements. So I'm using the PAR meter and uh, the uh, PPFD value, so the UMOLs uh, per second that I can measure uh, with this. And um, let me just show you. So when I'm close to the canopy of my uh, plants. Now I measure 156 PPFD. That's um, in the center, about around 150 PPFD. If I go uh, to the edges, I still get around 120 PPFD. It's the same here. You have to remember that this is at 25% only. I will show you the uh, values when I get to 100%. So I set it on to max and now we're gonna measure the PPFD values again. So at the center I'm getting 610-ish PPFD. At the edges it measures still like 490 to 500 PPFD which just shows you that this uh, grow light doesn't fall off uh, sharply, as I've just mentioned. And um, the PPFD values are really, really high. It's way too much for my uh, Monstera and Philodendron plants. That's why I put it back on 25%, because around 100 PPFD is just uh, all I need. This light comes also with a warranty of five years. So if um, anything uh, happens within these five years, uh, there's a great uh, after sales support and also local repair is possible. In terms of what could be uh, improved, um, I think I found two things. Uh, the first thing is the manual. So the manual is a general manual for most Mars Hydro grow lights and not really uh, specifically for this grow light. However, I had no uh, problems to set it up within a couple of minutes. I knew exactly where to place everything. It already comes and is shipped pre-built. So I only had to hang it up, um, add the driver on top of it. And this really was about it. Just uh, plug in the cables and turn it on. Let's talk about the results of using the Mars Hydro FC3000 uh, Growlight. I've been using it for the past four weeks. 
let's have a look at the plants and the plant growth. So we have here a, a new leaf on the Anturium quermalense. Also, we have a new leaf on my Anturium regalic is growing up. Then uh, there's a new leaf coming up on the Monstera deliciosa variegata and also one of the hugest leaves I've ever seen on Monstera uh, Thai constellation just growing nicely. There's also down there, there's a Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, which is also in the process of growing a new leaf. I'm just trying to show you, it's hidden down there. Ah oh, yeah, you can see it right here. So overall, really fantastic growth. You see how healthy uh, these plants are looking. There's some brown edges, but these uh, are shipping damages from when I got these plants half a year ago, but everything looks really lush and green and growing just like crazy. So uh, my verdict is uh, after running the FC3000 Mars Hydro grow light for about four weeks is that it's a really, really high quality, well-built uh, grow light that has a really high light output across a, a big area. So my grow light is three feet times uh, two feet. It covers um, all my grow tent and especially the area where I have my ebb and flow um, system. I put it within some distance of my plants and um, I could even put it lower and then um, dim it even more. I run it on 25% because even on these uh, 25% I get a really high uh, light output. What I also like with this grow light is that it has two times the amount of LEDs compared to other models. It's really, really small, so you can fit it in most spaces. And I have it on a timer, so I have it on uh, 12 hours on and 12 hours off. It was very easy to mount. To anyone that is looking for a high quality grow light that has high emittance and um, a really low energy use, I can highly recommend the FC3000 Mars Hydro Grow Light.